said how is the sex <laughs> what happens when high school lovebirds get married they move to a new city and start a youtube channel of course welcome, welcome to, to adventures, adventures of xyz i'm zondre and i'm zara i'm a doctor and i'm a lawyer but we both just really love sharing our faith and going on cool adventures. So we created this channel to share our journey as we attempt to use biblical principles to navigate life. And have a whole lot of fun doing it. So, come, come along with us! Hi. Happy Sunday morning! <laughs> Alright, so... As you guys would have seen in our last video, it's my birthday weekend and we're staying at a cottage up in the hills in St. Anne. Yeah. So we're going to now go on a hike and we're going to have a little conversation about like relationships and audits because it is our three months of marriage. Isn't that cute? <laughs> <laughs> like today actually is our three month anniversary, yeah, like yeah, yeah. proper. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I had to sprint back to the cabin because it started to pour and I had the camera so I had to run all the way back to the cabin so that, so that the camera didn't get soaked. So I had to leave Zara but Sarah coming. How was it? What? How was the, the little walk? I expected it a bit more, to be honest. But we expected a longer hike. Them said 20 minutes, but... It was like 5 minutes. <laughs> but to be honest though, we're, we're hiking people, so... Yeah. So that little walk was... But more longer than I right now, come with me. I guess we are! Hi guys. It's summertime and the living is easy. I <laughs> say, so love your life. <laughs> love your life, man. <laughs> the sun is shining. The birds are chirping. Birds are chirping. There's no war in Afghanistan. There's no war in Afghanistan. It's a good life, my guys. It's a good life. So, our heart got cut short because of the rain. We are complaining. I was kind of like just just chilling just lazing and around and it's so beautiful and lush and green and the birds are and the chocolate is good and then here in the river in the background and it's perfect and the parrots in the crowns of the trees just making a bag of noise and going you know doing parrotty things speaking of parrotty things please do the youtube things remember to like subscribe share comment post it on your facebook wall smash that like button Post it on your Instagram story, yeah. your WhatsApp status. So what are we talking about today, Sam? We wanted to tell you guys a little bit about something that we're doing on this little retreat. Mm -hmm. We're doing a relationship audit. And Zara came up with this grand idea that every couple of months, so like, like every, every quarter, quarter mm -hmm. we should get away to somewhere remote or even if not remote at least different from our usual day to day mm -hmm. and we should do a relationship audit basically have open and frank conversations with each other about the different components of our relationship mm -hmm. and i think it's i'm a fan of audits as you guys know <laughs> because it's very good to be self-aware and in this instance couple aware couple aware right about what's happening because sometimes you tend to have um issues that pile up and pile up and you never really address them and then they're stuck and then they're stuck and that's not healthy and that's when you flip mm -hmm. and we don't want to we don't want to go into our relationship you know with with an unhealthy foundation so when we were dating and courting and all of that we used to always have these little checkups every now and then but we never really named it so i think because work takes over and just all of the projects that we're involved in it takes over if we don't schedule it to say every quarter let's have mm. this and be deliberate about it intentional about it then it can get away from us as we've seen it get away from a lot of couples and a lot of families that we've seen and yeah yeah so we make it our point of duty to spend some time talking about so like she like at breakfast this morning is when we had our audit mm -hmm. and she was just like all right Zon, so let's start i'm like start what she said how is the sex <laughs> 
sex is good. <laughs> so we were just telling me, just gonna tell. Well, that wasn't a plan. The plan was to tell them about the audit. Oh, well, I'm telling you about the audit. We had to audit the sex. Mm -hmm. And it's good. And guys, no, it's important, you know, because I once heard a counselor say to us that, you know, sh I'll show you. No, if you can show me a relationship that is dysfunctional, I can show you two people who are, who are not having good sex. <laughs> and not because sex is the only thing that can cause a relationship to go south. Mm -hmm. But if there are things going on in the background, you can't have good sex. That's true. That's because true. your judgment clouded and you're not being open with each other. And, and especially kind of as newlyweds, mm -hmm. it's important that we talk about that because we both waited. And it meant that for the past three months... We, we have been learning different things yep. and we've been having these conversations um, about what you like and what I like and what I don't like and mm -hmm. what you don't like. So it's good that every now and again we check up and have these conversations because, you know, sometimes it might be a little awkward. You don't really want to stop in the middle and say, Yeah, yeah. I really like, I really like this. <laughs> so, so do it at a more um, yeah. neutral time. Neutral time, yeah. you know. So, and then I also added... Now, what are we doing? How is communication? Right. So, that was the next question. So, the next topic, the next subheading that... And we... we of course, the sex had other things. We're just not going to tell everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, what we can... What we do is that we we have a journal that we share. So, you know, I have my personal journal. And then, Andre has his personal journal. And then, we share a journal. So, when we write about what we are doing right now and where we are, in the next three months when we audit again, we can see what the improvements have been and then we can hopefully always improvements. hopefully improvements where they need to be improvements and maybe the next three months when we look back we were doing better now and then we start thinking about where we were mentally now and try to see if we can get back there mm -hmm. communication yes yeah, so we spoke about whether or not our communication has been open mm -hmm. and also if there's anything that has been lingering that we know that we needed to talk about that we haven't spoken about mm -hmm. that's also important to cover um, anything else on communication? We also spoke about like tone. Yeah. The way in which we have been communicating and just the fact that the, what I have learned the most these past three months is the fact that uh, you, you can't read my mind. I cannot. You Guys, actually, ladies, <laughs> no man can read your mind. As much as apart we, apart from King Jesus Himself. As much as we would want them to, especially, <laughs> and I think over time, if you are open in communicating your expectations, over time they learn. They meaning guys will learn, and then that is now when the expectation should be there for them to kind of understand that, you know, at this particular time, this is what I'm expecting. You mm -hmm. get me? Um, versus being in a new situation like we are again living with somebody for the first time and everything and not being very clear about what you expect so um that i've learned over the past three months and i've tried my best to kind of change the way i expect you to read my mind because at the end of the day you're human as much as i would want you to know what to do because i feel like sometimes guys will take like initiative but then we've had situations when you've taken initiative and then it's still never what i wanted <laughs> don't be salty now eats chocolate <laughs> eats pineapple <laughs> I like pineapple leave me alone why you like pineapple leave me alone Zondre why you like pineapple <laughs> pineapple your favorite fruit pineapple my favorite fruit I hope you guys are writing this down because we're not just telling this for your ear with business but actually we are telling you this so that you can apply it to your life and even if it's not just a couple's thing sometimes you can do audits of your friendships too and you can see where you are in that friendship and what you need to improve on because we always say we want this type of friend but are we that type of friend so this is applicable not just for like relationships not just for intimate relationships but make can work with your friend group mm -hmm. yeah next next category we spoke about our finances finances yes um and whether or not we've been tracking properly if we've been sticking to our budget and suffice it to say this month was a total mess and yeah, this month was horrible it was a total mess mm, we got um, fontana too much time <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I also bought food on the road all the time like zara would give me lunch and i leave still it. buy food 
like I would leave it in the fridge and just like I'm on the road at the time and I just I just buy food. So <laughs> we needed to tighten up this month. Yeah. So we're going to be working on that moving forward. Um after finances we spoke about spirituality. Wait, before we move on to mm-hmm. spiritual life, the thing about finances that I think it's important that we bring out here is that Zandre has specific spending habits and Zara has specific spending mm-hmm. habits and I think what has happened in the past three months is that we haven't really gotten them to seamlessly work with each other mm-hmm. very well. So I've still been spending like a single man. You can have been still spending like a single, like a man. single man. And then, you know, like, you pay the bills. That's kind of how it's been going, you know. So I think as you come together as a couple, it's important. And, and trust me, we spoke about all of this. We have the... I think we have the outline. We have the outline. Look in our journal, ha- you see it. We have everything, and that's something that I think we promise to share with the vlog at some point. Not exactly how we do it, but like a, a typical outline and how we we structure our finances. But I think what really happened was that our joint account was lagging. You remember, Zan? Yeah. So our joint account was lagging, and because it was lagging, then we still were kind of spending out our individual accounts, and we weren't really tracking. So it's important to track. Very important to track your expenses, guys. And I mean, I might be preaching to the choir. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm in the pulpit not doing it because this month was a mess. Yeah, this month was a but, mess. But next month, we're getting back on the train. Mm. And, and that's how it is. You know, there are ups and downs, but we want to try to build life as much consistency as possible. Yeah. yeah. And I don't want you guys to ever think that life is perfect on this side. It's not. We're trying just like you. Or just and some trying Just some trying youth sharing our lives. Bringing you along the journey, Live, living out publicly, as I like to say, yeah. um, in the hope that it will help somebody else. Because so, there are people who were open enough with us to mm-hmm. kind of help us along, you know, mm-hmm. and continue to be. Yeah. Yeah. So you were talking about the fact that we went into the spiritual life audit, right? And then we were saying, you know, we're in a much better place now than we were three months ago mm-hmm. individually, um, and that's really good, you know, that, that we were very thankful for that. But at the same time. There's still more that we can do. Mm-hmm. We're saying that we've been, each of us individually, we've been keeping up with um, studying or, or devotional. At least Zara has been studying her devotional. Reading and stuff. And I've been listening to the Bible on my way to work. So, you know, we've been doing a little bit there. But we also had made a commitment that we were going to study the Sabbath school lesson together every night. You know, kind of to build up our, our, our family altar. Yeah. And that has been lagging. Sometimes we, we don't do that. We're too tired and we fall asleep. Mm-hmm. So, like, stuff like that, we know that we'll have to be intentional about working on moving forward. Yeah. And that's why it's so important to do these audits. Mm-hmm. Because... Could I live with it? Exactly. Mm-hmm. And not even realize it. Yeah. And not even, like, streamline the things that you want to work on. So, obviously, you know, we're living out loud, but we might not give you guys all the details. Because at the end of the day, you know, there are some things that we'll keep between the two of us but the, but the gist of it i know you guys can get that there are some things that are going well there are others that need some work and when we have conversations like these coming out of it we can itemize things that need work yeah. so that when we look back in three months time we can say this we had called out but we didn't do anything on it right. or this we had called out and we fixed it mm-hmm. so good job so good job mm. so that we can get ice cream eats chocolate <laughs> oh, and and i mean a question that you get, can ask yourself i don't think we did this but you can add it to your spiritual audit as well is you can you can really rank oh you can really rank like the books that you're reading and like the chapters that you're reading so let's say for instance you'd have made a commitment this quarter to finish the book of luke so that you can get a full story of jesus's life something like that you know you can always do that but the gist of it too is that there is no real structure you just have these big headings and you have free open honest conversations because no two relationships are the same your headings also might look differently yeah because suppose like i think one thing that zondra and i have now gone fully into business together so that's a that's a heading that we never had when we made Mm -hmm. our structure um in our honeymoon stage three well ago. three months ago but now it's something that we'll have to add exactly because now we're going to have to talk about how are we communicating in business how is this business affecting our life mm-hmm. um are we working well together that's something that we never had yeah well, we should probably we should include. probably include that so i'm just saying include. that 
the categories will look differently for different couples and they will change too yeah. as life moves on so if you have children then how you're relating with the children would also be a category and you know is there anything that mommy expects daddy to do that daddy hasn't been doing is there something that daddy has expected mommy to do and for the record um the children part may not be added to our list just yet <laughs> but um for you guys who need it right now you know. <laughs> just just in case somebody misinterprets so, yeah just in case somebody's wondering <laughs> um yeah so mm -hmm. that's that oh there's also a star apple tree just oh. realized anyway you like star apple yeah but they mean uh they're not they're not bearing much no them bear but they're not drop off they'll stay on the tree and rot oh and not drop off as so some don't be as mean as a star don't apple. be as mean as a star apple true let me just look at some people come you never hear word Komojin? It's Komojin. A Komojin, Zandre. <laughs> Where you get Komojin from? I know. A Komojin. I don't know, no, no, Komojin. Guys, drop in the comments if you know Komojin. It's not Komojin. You spell Komojin. Nobody knows how you spell poop. How <laughs> <laughs> you spell poop? Honestly. <laughs> spell poop. <laughs> P O O P. That's poop. P U P. That's pop. P U P E. That's poop. Pew. P O P E. No, <laughs> no, man. no, man. no man. <laughs> So you can you know, learn. You don't have to know how to spell Jamaican words. Kumujin. <coughs> Kumujin means you stay bad. Don't be Kumujin. But Kumujin. Yeah. What was the other topic that we spoke um, about? Um, fitness. Fitness and health. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we established that we're better off now than we were three months Definitely. ago. Definitely. And we're very happy for that. Very happy for that. We've been going on some walks. I think maybe. Maybe by the time this video is posted, we'll you guys will something. see. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but we've been going on walks basically every morning. And we've been eating better. Challenge day. <laughs> <laughs> what day are we on, babe? Day two, and somebody's not feeling so up to it. This decision was it to come this route this morning. It was mine. <laughs> was that a good idea? I'm afraid I call. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Because generally there are two types of things that or two ways the Bible describes things. One way is this <laughs> yeah, I think so we're very grateful for that. Yeah. I think for one of the reasons for us done is that for health and fitness, I sp I in particular take a little time to um to settle in and with 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 the, the the time that i took to settle in it just kind of made kind of just shook things up a little bit with just how we were cooking and and how we were kind of combining what i like with what you like and how i eat with how you eat and learning how to put like exercise into our schedule and stuff like that so mm -hmm. now we're in a place where i i feel at home now so every time i said that yeah i i think that we have no it's no longer Zandre's little apartment, but it's not our little apartment. Aww. Yeah, and that's that's really sweet. Thanks for welcoming me in. I like living with you. You like living with me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're cute. You're not too bad to live with either. <laughs> but Zandre's really picky. I'm so. a very picky human being. He's a very picky human being. Especially when it comes down to living space. Yeah. Like, so I, that has been... I'm, I'm quite a, a mouthful. <laughs> But yeah, guys, um, oh, that was our audit this morning, mm -hmm. and we thank you guys for that like, joining in yeah. and having a conversation with us about this. And I'm sure as as we move on and as we grow, and maybe next quarter, we'll 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 share a little bit or we'll share what the additions were. Mm -hmm. Um, and we hope that you can apply this audit to your lives, as we've already mentioned, and your relationship. And we would love to hear the feedback about you know. How this how this looks in your relationship or mm -hmm. how it has helped you you know you can always follow us we have a whole instagram page now at adventures of xyz yeah um so you can always follow us share and as usual thank you so much for watching on this episode of adventures, adventures of xyz, XYZ. bye, bye.